So, I recently got into watercolor painting and wanted to derive a bit more joy from the supplies I used. I couldn't find a palette I liked enough, so as I often do, I decided to tackle it myself on a whim. I originally made a coffin-shaped palette, but it didn't quite end up to snuff. I wanted to try a few other shapes, so I took what I learned from this practice run and designed two more. My art is always very self-indulgent, so what did I want for palettes? A death's head and a bat, of course. I designed them digitally before printing them off, cutting out the wells, and placing them on some air dry clay I actually got for a different project. I traced them in and got the carving. I've done some small sculptures and mass sculpting before in sculpting in oil clay, but uh, these palettes were definitely much easier to sculpt than a statue by a long shot. Sculpting took a while, but it was very, very fun. It was something new to explore, and I got the hang of it pretty fast. I'm very pleased with how those sculpts came out. After letting them dry in the sun for a bit, I sanded them down. Later on, they were sealed with a few layers of white glue to protect them from moisture and give a satin sheen. Alright, time to make the mold. I made plenty of molds, so this was nothing new for me. They were placed on some vinyl with a cardboard retaining wall hot glued around them to make a platinum cure block mold. If you don't know what I'm talking about, platinum cure is a type of durable, long-lasting silicone. After the silicone had set for a few hours, the originals were demolded. I only made one set of molds, but I'll likely go back and make a second set later. At this point, I did a lot of weight and color testing to see how much resin the molds need, and how I want them to look. I tried some mica powders along with some aluminum, but the stark black ended up looking the best anyway. Weights and notes were recorded in my work binder so I can recast them easily. The first pour of resin is weighed, mixed, and slush cast into the mold. I don't have a pressure pot, so I have to avoid bubble holes by pouring the resin twice and rotating the mold in my hands. I have a good little rhythm with these. I finish pouring one mold, switch to the other, and by the time I finish slush casting the second design, the first is ready to be demolded. I do these in small batches, and at a normal pace, I can cast about 9 pallets. It's very satisfying seeing the casting pile grow while I work.
After they've cured for about a day, I take them outside and I trim off any sharp edges. They also get a quick bath to remove the sanding dust and then I'll lay them outside and let them dry for a few hours. When they're dry, I have to get them ready for tagging. I probably don't really need to do this, but it makes them a lot cuter. These palettes ended up being very perfect for what I created them for, bringing some extra joy while I do small paintings. They're also pretty sturdy and easy to clean up. They even look really good on their own when propped up against something. I've already completed a load of commissions with these and a few other little paintings. Hopefully others will enjoy these palettes too. Thanks for listening!